getting ready to go to sleep, get in my bed, and get a good night's rest. And the Chicago Bulls said, nope, we've got other plans. The Bulls are hiring a new general manager. Yes, that is right. The Chicago Bulls are hiring a new general manager, and his name is Mark Eversley, folks. The news just dropped. I'm reacting to the news as it came out right now. Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN uh, literally tweeted about it that the Chicago Bulls have decided to hire Mark Eversley of the Philadelphia 76ers to be their new general manager. So I got no choice but to bring you the latest and greatest on this news and talk about it. So with that being said, what is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA here to talk about the Bulls, the Chicago Bulls, folks. If you're a Bulls fan, what are you doing? Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I check my analytics, folks. There's a few of you guys, a lot of you guys actually, that haven't subscribed. So please do support me on this channel, on this journey. Helps me out a lot and follow me, guys, on my social media. With that being said, breaking news. There's breaking news we have to get to. We have to talk about it. Mark Eversley. Uh, let's talk about him, okay? Let's talk about the new general manager of the Chicago Bulls. Who is Mark Eversley? Well, if you had watched my video that I made a few weeks back on all of the general manager candidates that I had in mind for the Bulls' vacant GM position, because people, you got to remember, Arturo Skarnasovas is not the general manager. He is the vice president, okay? He is a level, level above, if you will. So um, I had... Giving you guys all the options for the vacant GM position. And uh, Mark Eversley was one of those people. And in fact, he was one of my top options, if not the top one. I don't need to brag, but I needed to say it, okay? And I had basically said this. If Calvin Booth, who was the assistant GM under Arturos Karnasovas when he was a GM with the Nuggets, if he was not the guy that Arturos could bring along with him, which... Obviously, ended up being the case because the, the Nuggets are going to promote him to the GM position. If that was not going to be the case, then my next guy in line was going to be Mark Eversley. And that is what ended up happening. Agent Wojnowski just tweeted, the Bulls made the, made the announcement, and we have a new general manager. So, Gar and Pax is done. It's over. Cut it clean. It is a wrap, okay? We are done with the Gar and Pax regime forever, Okay, forever. I still don't believe it. It doesn't feel real, but man, does it feel good. Does it feel good? So again, let's let's talk about Mark Eversley, who he is. So let me give you guys a little bit of detail around him, okay? So Mark Eversley is the 76ers VP of Player Personnel, or I should say he was because he's now the general manager of the Chicago Bulls. Uh, he has been in the front office with the Sixers, the Wizards, the Raptors, and of course, Nike as well. He's worked with Nike. Uh, he was hired by Brian Colangelo in 2016. That was obviously with the Sixers. And he's been a key figure for the Sixers ever since, obviously, they hired him. In the pre-draft process, he was even a candidate for their vacant general manager position that went to Elton Brand. So if it wasn't going to go to Elton Brand, Mark Eversley, he would have gotten it. Okay. And last thing uh, to mention is he is the first African-American general manager hired by the Chicago Bulls. So this is obviously key because we knew the, the, that the Bulls were looking to hire somebody of color. And again, I, I had come on in here and said, I, you know, I really don't care. I just want to hire whoever's best for the job. But obviously, you have to love the fact that it comes uh, uh, to this point where the Bulls hire somebody that's a minority, which is fantastic, obviously. Uh, but I don't want to undermine the fact that this man has a ton of experience, okay? He's got a ton of experience working in NBA front offices. He's well-respected around the league. And the Bulls obviously did their due diligence. Uh, there was a bunch of candidates that they interviewed for the position. I know a lot of you guys wanted Michael Finley for the job. I also talked about him as well. But Mark Eversley, the thing with him for me, above putting him above Michael Finley, was that I believed he had more experience and Michael Finley, um, you know, obviously doesn't have that same level of resume that Eversley does. And so that to me is the best part about it. So now we've got our new, I shouldn't say car and pack silly. We've got our new uh, and, and much better improved version, if you if you will, of Gar and Pax. It is Arturos, Karnasovas, and Mark Eversley. Okay, so that is our new dynamic duo in the front office. And let me just... Let me just say this. Let me just give a round of applause to Michael Reinsdorf, okay? Michael Reinsdorf, the son of Jerry Reinsdorf, is the key architect behind all this. Because here's the thing. 
if Jerry Reinsdorf was still the one calling the shots, I, I, I don't think he would have done this. Okay, Jerry, uh, he's obviously had his success. We all know, um, you know, Jerry uh, got the rings with the Chicago Bulls in the 1990s with the, the, the Bulls dynasty with Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Phil Jackson. And, and Jerry, obviously, he's very old. Uh, I'm not sure if, you know, he's still within the thick of things within the organization. And he's really given a lot of that power to his son and Michael and Jerry knows Michael is going to obviously take over the team, you know, whenever, whatever happens to Jerry. And so Michael Reinsdorf, with all this power now, he could have just sat back and did what his dad did and just, you know, uh, ate from the fruits of the Bulls 90s dynasty labor. Okay, they're, they're literally just, you know, still making money off, I'm sure, the, the championships in the 1990s. But he realized there that now is the time to make a change and just change the entirety of this front office. And that is what Michael Reinsdorf is doing. And he is obviously the reason why they hired Arturo Skarnasovas. And now with Arturo is getting all this power, he is able to hire his guys. And now his first big major move, well, second really, he hired an assistant GM and JK Polk, JJ Polk, excuse me, and now hiring Mark Eversley. So all I have to say to you guys is this is a fantastic hire. You will be very happy, as I, will I, obviously. We're all in this together as Bulls fans. But this is the start of something special. Oh, this is the start of something special, start of something beautiful. Remember, Mark Eversley being with the Sixers, they, they went through the same rebuild, really, with the process. They're, trust the process, right? The Sixers kept losing, losing, losing. And then you, you get your, your studs and, and Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. You surround him them with a couple of good pieces. You throw in free agents, Al Horford, Tobias Harris, Jimmy Butler, and, and you have a championship contender. And that is what I expect to happen with the Chicago Bulls. Again, I've made a separate video laying out my three-year plan really with the Bulls and how they can turn this team into a contender. And I stand by it because, again, you get the right people in the front office and that will allow you to... Uh, make the right team okay um so to me this is just another step in the right direction i love the hire um love it fantastic hiring by the chicago bulls and now next step or talking about the head coach i mean come on now you know it's coming uh, jim boylan is as good as gone i'd be i would be very shocked if mark eversley keeps him um, so the next step is going to be hiring that new head coach but uh, let's just enjoy this now because look at the Bulls, we are out of the the darkness of Garn Packs, and we are emerging from it and going into now the light. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I, I see it. The Bulls are going to be good again, folks. And we've got the two right men to lead the Bulls in this quest to return to greatness in Arturo's Karnasovas and Mark Eversley. So there you have, folks, my thoughts on the Bulls GM hire. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.